Hey there, welcome back to Vox Populi. I bought a motorcycle in Mexico yesterday. <laughs> so, this bad boy, look at it, it's pretty cool. Little uh, 150. Italica is the, the local brand here, sort of the most popular um, brand. This model particularly, the uh, FT150, is probably the most common motorcycle in Mexico from what I've seen so far. Um, but yeah, that's all right. I've uh, I paid probably 600 bucks for this thing, muster more or less. Um, and uh, the plan with this thing is to use it to sort of travel around the country and uh, continue the work that I've been doing with uh, the interviews and some important stories that I think need to be covered. But also, sort of want to do a side series of um, just my adventures and uh, you know sort of the random cool people, cool things, the food and cultural things that I come across while uh, traveling. And I think this thing is going to uh, really allow me to get off the beaten path and really get into some uh, pretty remote areas. Um, yeah, I think it works pretty well. It's It's got pretty decent suspension and it's a little bike, so it's really maneuverable, you know. The suspensions, it's not like a dual sport or enduro or anything like that, but it's enough to handle some of the really questionable roads around here, I think. Um, as well as the city, you know, um, with all the traffic and stuff, having something like this is really great. So yeah, I think it's gonna work out. Um, and this is a 2019, by the way, so it's pretty new. Um, and for 600 bucks, I think I can sell it again in a few months when I'm done in Mexico. Um, sell it, get most of my money back, assuming I don't lay it down. Um, yeah, I think it should work out pretty well. And also, I think it's like 80 something miles per gallon. So it thinks it sips gas. Like it's, it's pretty much a negligible cost, um, unless I'm going super long distances. Um, but yeah, it should be fun. Um, let's see, I'm kind of underprepared. I don't have tools or anything. So if I get stuck on the side of the road, I'm kind of stuck there. Um, nor do I really know how to work on motorcycles. I mean, I have basic mechanical skills. Um, you know, I could probably change brakes and tires and stuff like that. But um, as far as having a really good understanding of how they work, I don't have that. Um, I have about 50 to 100 miles of motorcycle riding experience under my belt. So that's, uh, you know, I'm pretty much a pro, you could say. Um, I do speak Spanish, so I do have that going for me. Um, but other than that, I mean, we're, we're going on an adventure. Uh, should be fun. And uh, if you want to tag along, subscribe, um, you know, for the usual, the usual stuff as long uh, as well with uh, this series, you know, sort of follow me around, uh, follow me around Mexico and uh, yeah, see what sort of interesting things, interesting people, interesting food that I run into. Um, it's going to be a good, it's going to be a blast for me and I, I think it's going to be interesting to watch as well. So subscribe, like this video and uh, yeah, have a good one.